Welcome to Icons at Harrods. I sort of have to be in love with them, really. There has to be something behind the person as well. Jackie O, she lived this incredible life. Bridget Bardot is an activist, as well as being this beautiful actress. Steve McQueen, the most masculine man on the planet. I just have to connect with them. I have to be in love with them. History really edits who's iconic and not. I took some photographs of Bjork many years ago when she was in band The Sugar Cubes, and with time, those photographs have become more important. I took other photographs and the people have disappeared, so it, it's, it's strange, it's, it's, I think, time. Marilyn Monroe just keeps growing and growing, and my love for her keeps growing. Maybe my father for me. My father would bring me to Harrods as a kid. My father adored Harrods. This was his escapism. My escapism was America, but his escapism was with Harrods, and we'd walk through all the different departments. You know, one of my icons would be George Best. That was the only light in Northern England. My dad would take me to see George Best on a Saturday, and I watched this man, magic, absolute magic, just pure artistry. Sitting with my father in movie theatres, watching Some Like It Hot with Marilyn, but certainly movie theatres growing up in Northern England, I guess the absence of any glamour. Go down to the Gucci shop, get one of those amazing jackets and some really fancy pants and a, and a, a big hold all bag. And then I'd probably come up to the third floor to the Halcyon Gallery and I'd go get a Bob Dylan original painting.